Has, has this week been any diff different getting like all the different uh, award nominations, all that kind of stuff? Has the week been different? Yeah. No, it's just the same week. You know, I, I, I work hard for situations like this, and uh, and uh, my talent is being, you know, viewed as a high talent type of guy. I feel like I don't know, but it's just it's normal. Uh, I'm just caring. You know, I haven't done anything yet until I won the award. And that's going to be after the season, so that's when I get to worry about stuff. But, you know, I'm real thankful, but uh, it's still the same normal practice I'm going through. Is it any different being a rivalry week and you've got the kind of weird Thanksgiving schedule? I mean, uh, we, we know what we need to do. We're, you know, um, uh, that's your question. <laughs> but we're just ready for, for this weekend. Uh, we're ready to eat some good food, I'll tell you that. But I'm trying not to eat too much, so, so I can still stay fast. <laughs> How much have you, guys, have you guys talked at all about last year's game that can make up for last year's game against Louisville? I mean, yeah, we, we always get corrected because uh, we know what they did to us last year. We all we, we all got a bad, we all got a bad taste in our mouth in that game. Uh, we saw what they did well, and we're going to, I guess, we're going to try to see if they come out in the same game plan. Uh, so, but we know we're a better team. We know every time we last year, every at Mississippi State last year, we you know we got it, we got it, you know handed to us, and then we came back the next year, took care of business. So we're, we're planning on doing the same thing and just you know learn from our mistakes and not make those happen again. Some of those mistakes, I'm sure, were emotional mistakes. Guys get the worst and so forth. How do you guard against that in a rivalry game this year? Uh, we're we're more mature, older, uh, so we we know how to play the game right and. Uh, we think I'm going in the right mentality, the right approach, and try to get a win. Yeah, one of their quarterbacks is, uh, I don't want to say primarily a runner, but he's quick. He moves mm -hmm. on his feet. Do you have to rush any differently when you're going up against a guy who runs around the pocket a lot? I mean, just got to get, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we just, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> So no. <laughs> just, just, we just got to do the same. Just get there, you know, get back there as fast as we can, so we won't have the opportunity to just to scramble. But I feel like the guys we got that's pass rushing do a lot of, you know, do a good job of caging the rush. So if he steps up on me, we got two interior guys that's going to make up for those, uh, you know, for my mistake or for my lapse of judgment, of angle wise. So uh, and I feel, you know, I feel real comfortable, you know, with the D line we got and the opportunities we have this weekend. Have you changed? Has it helped you having? The defensive line being more productive this year. Yeah. Have you noticed that big difference in the defense because of that? Uh, yes, I have. But uh, they're still going to game plan like they are. So that means they're going to have to win their one on ones. And, and as you can see, they have been. You know, as, you know, we had six sacks, seven sacks last week, and uh, from, from every from every type of position. So it's like uh, you can't you can't just single out one person. You know, they can single me out, but Bo's going to get a sack. You know, as you can as you can tell the last week, or you know, slide my way, then Calvin gets the sack, Q gets the sack. You know, so it's you know having having all that productivity up front leaves a lot of pressure off of myself and uh, and all the other guys around me. So it's just it's just, it's just fun being out. Do you grade the sacks of first time guys like Westry or you know, when those guys are getting first sacks? Mm -hmm. Do you grade them for them or tell them that they could have done better? I mean, he could have had a strip sack or something, you know, <laughs> but, you know, but a sack's a sack, and I'll take it wherever the way it is, you know, so Chris sack was pretty good, uh, Q sack was good, you know, Adrian took my sack, I'm not going to say anything about that, <laughs> but, you know, everybody's producing, you know, everybody's going to be doing their job and doing what they need to do, and we're going to be the same mentality this week. Did you ever find a third, were you looking for a third Joe Sproul, or were you looking for Seems like Bro. Bro. I think I think I'm gonna be you know. He got five sacks this season. You know, he's doing he's looking pretty good. Actually, I mean you've set the sack record and, and some of the draft prospect reports I've read on you, they talk about that not only can you rush the catcher but your coverage. Mm -hmm. You can also cover guys. Yeah. How hard have you worked on that and do you think that's kind of an overlooked part of your game? Uh, I mean, the NFL guys know know what I can do. Uh, so I, I don't really get to all this mock stuff and draft stuff online. Uh, you know, I feel like 
right in that, you know, I don't know. But it's, it's cool, I guess, but I don't real to detail. But, uh, you know. But what, what about your coverage? How yeah, much have you worked on that? I mean, yeah, I worked extremely hard on every aspect of my, you know, of my, you know, my game. I don't have, you know, I wasn't that sure. I'm in the run, and plus I drop. So I try to work each three of those parts as keen as I can and find all the fine details and just stay physical on all aspects and be the best player I can be all around. How do you rein in the excitement knowing that, A, it's going to be a big group of seniors' last regular season game and, B, it's against Louisville? I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to get after this game. Uh, what, what better way to... In the, game, in the end of the season with a bunch of guys that was all in four years ago that really wasn't winning, you know what I mean? And now we're in the position we are today. It's, it's, it would be unbelievable to leave, you know, legacy with nine wins, you know, nine and three. That that sounds perfect, you know. And it, it's time to make history. Uh, so going down to Louisville and just getting a win would be extremely, you know, important for our program and for these seniors. And, you know, I don't expect anything different. So you're not